I accidentally found a free AI tool that tries paid software like ChatGPT, and there is no subscription required. And in this video, I'm going to show you all about this tool so you can decide if it's the right fit for you. So Mr. LeChat recently got a new update. And if you're not aware of what LeChat is, or if you want to say it in French, I guess you would say it in a French way. This is a competitor to ChatGPT. And before it was previously in beta. So as you can see here, on February 26, 2024, we have this article from Mr. AI, which says, today we release our new conversational assistant, a first demonstration of what you can build with Mistral models and what you can deploy in your business environment. So there was this early access as a beta user. However, very recently, a few days ago, like 10 days ago, there were new updates given to LeChat, which according to this article gives it an edge over ChatGPT. I'm not sure about that, but in terms of what has been upgraded, so now you can use the Canvas feature, you can create documents, presentations, code, mockups, and so on and so forth. You can use the web search as well, which this mentions somewhere here. You can use it to generate images as well. So there are some benchmarks as well. So we have extra large llama, Plot Gemini. So there's a bunch of benchmarks that you can also have a look at over there. And when it comes to actually using it, it's as simple as going to Mistral LeChat, so chat.mistral.ai, and then you get to this screen. So once you're in here, you can start a regular chat and you can use the canvas, you can use the web search, you can turn on image generation. So if you use canvas, the other two features get disabled. So let's give it a prompt. So what's, uh, what can an LLM do? The good thing about this is that it is free. So if you are on a paid ChatGPT subscription, this is positioning itself as being opposite to it. So here it's saying you can, it can answer questions, explain concepts, generate text, run eight languages, engage in dialogue, provide suggestions, brainstorming, summarizing, and so on and so forth. It's also saying that you can't browse the internet, physically interact with the environment, feel emotions, generate or interpret images, and provide real-time updates. So all of this is because the web search is not enabled. But if I start a new window here, and I enable web search and image generation, and I ask it what is today's date. It should be able to tell me that today is the 9th, 29th of November. So that is correct. If I ask it to create me an image to represent today's date, and I have no idea what this will create. So it's generating an image. Okay, 24, 2024, November 29, 2024. Not too bad. For some reason, it chose this kind of cyberpunk kind of style. So create this same image as an anime character. Let's see if it's able to do that. I can generate the same image twice. However, I can create a new image of an anime character. Sure. So here it says, let me do that for you, but then it doesn't. So let's see if the sure. Okay. Yeah. Seems to be generating an image. Here's an image of an anime character is representing today's date. Okay. There is a small antenna here on my character so yeah pretty good then there is the canvas feature here so what is the canvas feature so the canvas feature allows you to create and manage self-contained pieces of content that can be rendered separately for better clarity these canvases can be used for a variety of purposes including writing where was I? Writing emails, drafting speeches, composing poems, creating websites, and more. Here are some key points about the Canvas feature. So you can code, you can create documents, you can create mermaid diagrams, HTML. Great. Create me an HTML web page that I can use as the front page for my dog training business. So again, this is free, which is great considering that at some point you would have to pay for shed gpt it is slightly slower as you can see even when it's generating code it is slightly slower than chat gpt so if i go to chat gpt and say create an html web page 
So this is still writing or still creating. And considering that we started ChatGPT much later, let's see the end result for both. So this is still going on the left, still going on the right, and this has finished. So in a way it's free and that's good, but it's also slower. So I guess you have to give up some of the features that you might want. So if I copy this code and let's save the desktop and save as chat.html hypertext markup language file. I believe that's how you would save it. And then I take this stuff right here, which is still generating. So if I were to open the chat GPT file, this is what was created. So dog training excellence, helping your dog thrive, services, testimonials, contact us, build a stronger bond with your dog, our services, learn more, what our clients say, and contact us. So pretty basic, but not too bad at all, because I didn't give it any specific prompts. Let's see if this finished, which it seems to have done. So if I just hit that, copy that, and go back here and paste it in, save. So now if I refresh, we get this. Welcome to positive training. Services about contact, our services, about us. And this part at the bottom seems to be cut off with this banner. So it does create whatever you ask it to create. And obviously you can go back and make it make adjustments to those things. Here it also says that you, it can create HTML slides. Can you create a slideshow about dog training? So this is using the mark, markdown rendering format, which I'm not sure what that is. Presentation of our system. Okay. Looks very similar to regular markdown. Anyway. So this is creating the different slides in this canvas window, which is great as well. So this is chat.mistral.ai. It's free. It's life is slower than ChatGPT, but yeah, it is one tool you can also have in your AI and large language model type of arsenal. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, I urge you to give this a shot, see if it works out for you. And in the meantime, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. You can also check out the link in the description for more information of, about how I can help you with AI and automation in your business. I'll speak to you soon.